The project's name is Shower Loop. It's basically a shower that uses 10 times less water and heat energy compared to a normal shower. And it does that by capturing, pumping, and filtering your water. When it comes through the shower head, the water is clean and bacteria-free and still warm. We reuse that hot water that you start off with, so you're just continuously using it, saving lots of energy. And compared to conventional showers, it's so effective that you can practically be in there for as long as you want. I like taking warm showers and being in the shower for a long time, but I also understood quite heavily the, the environmental impact of it. Um, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world or anything, but still, it's like I try to be more sustainable if, every day if I can. It's like two billion people don't have access to drinking water and sanitation. The whole climate change issue, like we're using so much energy on the planet, and then it, there's also just like water scarcity in general, and climate changing in different countries. California has droughts and Australia has issues. The way I see it is that we need to have technology for climate change adaptation. Like things are gonna hit us really hard and it's gonna be expensive and really hard if we don't have the right design for it, how to deal with it. By decreasing the amount of energy and water that you need to run a house, then you can use less renewable energy to, to power it. Then you're more self-sufficient and, and secure and resilient, basically. It just, it could help so many people. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to have a, a positive impact. Uh, I always wanted to make some cool technologies and invent stuff. I'm not trying to impose my ideology everywhere. I just want to show the example. And then people say, hey, that's great. Why isn't that just everywhere? Generally, that's what motivates me to keep going forward, that people w want it. It's also led me to a lot of places, uh, which is really fun also then to meet other people that are like-minded and trying to solve problems. I feel like I'm finding my place also, like where I'm supposed to be. I don't think I'm ever really bored either.